Hey, how's it going? I am the Sanguium, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So last episode was a bit of a chore episode. We kind of ran around, did some odd jobs. We figured out our base location as well, over by the Crater Lakes. Yeah, here, take a look. See that thumbs up? Main hub location. So at some point, we gotta build there. A uh, big old storehouse of sorts. But, uh, before we do that, we need to unlock fuel generator stuff so that we can power this place without, uh, you know, biofuel, which they're all off over there. Speaking of, but you're wondering why we're here. I'll tell you why. See this? We got at least 100 circuit boards. We only need 430. We can make... We can make 50 computers. And we have uh, seven computers already in here from like crash sites and all that. So, what do you say we take a moment and just craft a bunch of these, huh? Actually, before we craft all that, maybe we should uh, <laughs> maybe we should turn the generators back on, yeah. Everything's on. So now I'm just gonna sit back. And... All right, 43 computers. Plus seven. Bam. We got 50 computers. We can unlock the fuel stuff now. Pretty great. And uh, another thing, too, is uh, we also have enough materials lying around to make a hundred more heavy uh, modular frames. While I was sitting there uh, making some computers, the last of the encased industrial beams needed for a uh, hundred of those frames should have finished being crafted by now so we'll be picking those up on the way back whoa I just ran over that poor spitter that'll do alright here we is uh... I forgot to grab the frames oh well I can grab them in a moment Let's throw this in here. Finally. Reached. Oh. The fuel generator will match power <laughs> generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Caterium scanning unlocked. Oh uh, yeah, in case if for some reason you haven't unlocked Caterium yet, you can do it then, I guess. Now we can do fuel generators! Ooh! Ooh, that's great. That's nice. And, uh, let's see. For the train, we can put those frames in there. Uh, yeah, and we can put motors in this. Uh, let's, let's do this first. It'll take a hot second, so, uh, yeah, we can wait. For now, let's go over here to the man and look at something else. We can do this. I made some black powder uh, off sc off screen and brought it with me so we can make the smokeless powder. Whatever that's going to do for us. What all do we have? Oh, it's all weaponry. Nuclear deterrent development. Using encased uranium cells. Oh my lord. The cluster noblisk. I can only imagine what that means. You got explosive rebar, which sounds hilarious. The rifle. You need a hundred motors for the rifle? Jeez. Uh, I was always more of a rebar guy anyway. And then turbo rifle ammunition. Eh. Don't really need that. Aluminum casing. A versatile container cast from aluminum ingots. I don't remember aluminum casing at all, so that must be a new thing. And then there's inflated pocket dimension, which is nice, I guess. If only we could actually do that. Oh yeah, we could also unlock this. Oh, but look, we need just barely more quick wire. Alright, well at least now we know what's further down the sulfur stuff, I guess. Alright, let's see... Frames. This is also gonna take a while. Oh boy, that sure did take a while. But I got it. Alright, so we got... 
a hundred heavy frames and a hundred motors. Now I kind of just gotta wait for the thing to come back, which it should be back any second now. Oh, there it is. Such a cool little drop pod ship thing. We should appreciate it while we can, because once we run out of uh, hub objectives, this thing is never going to fly again. Alright, let's put those in there. Put those in there. And now we have some extra that we can put in here. What? Where? Uh, you know what? Get rid of that. We don't need that many flower, uh, flower petals. Alright, now we're going to do fuel stuff at long last. Let's, uh... Oh yeah, the beams! Forgot about the beams. So, how do the beams work? This is called a beam connector. Freeform. Oh! The windows too? Alright, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted. So, fuel generator. Um, how much does this make? 150. Uh... I think we need at least 300, so we should make two of these, and wouldn't you know it, it requires 10 computers, that's beautiful. Uh, I bet we could manage that uh, by hand. Uh, we need 30 motors, how about the modular frames? We have 19 heavy modular frames. Wow. Let's go make one more. Uh. Boy, sorry about that. A, a, a giant spider just crawled out from behind my monitor, and it kind of, kind of freaked me out a little bit. Not gonna lie. Don't worry about it, though. Don't worry about it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I got the, I got the heebie-jeebies now. I feel like, I feel like there's something crawling on my feet now because it went down under my desk. <laughs> But nothing's there. Nothing's there. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. At least it wasn't a wasp like last time that something like that happened. I am deathly afraid of wasps. Wasps, hornets, yellow jackets, the works. Like, I am deathly afraid of them. Like, the spiders are kind of alright. I mean, spiders are cool. They get rid of bugs for you. But bees are assholes. Alright, let's make those, uh... Let's make that last heavy beam. Should be a uh, yeah, heavy frame. There it is. Bam! We got enough. Now, real quick, I also want to get some quick wire. Now, if I remember correctly, we do have a man located here. Uh, yeah, over here, over here, over here. Let's go to Caterium. Research high speed connector. Nice. I hear spitters, but I don't see them, so I guess it's just my imagination. How does one make a high speed connector? Of course, it needs a circuit board. And then you need your Caterium. Yeah, I bet we could maybe set something up that makes high-speed connectors at the oil plant, but... That's a lot of circuit boards! I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And to make a supercomputer, yeah. Hey! Geothermal generator! Geysers! Hey! Hey! Hey, that would be a fun one to unlock. Now, it's been a very long time since I've used geothermal generators. In fact, it's been even before my Update 3 world that I've used a geothermal generator. In fact, I could have sworn they were disabled at one point. Like, last time I used it, it's basically free power. Which is why it's so expensive to make. You just slap it on a generator, power. That's it. To my knowledge, they may have nerfed it incredibly. This, even though it's expensive now. Now, like, it's expensive, and it's not as powerful. There's no way they're gonna let you get away with free power. How are we doing? Doing pretty good still. Alright. That's good. Oh. <laughs> Imagine looking down at your <laughs> sleeping concussion body. 
Alright, let's see. 15. More than enough. I don't think we're actually going to make 15. We're just going to make the 10. Alright. Got it. Hmm. It just occurred to me that there's no real way to split fuel. Uh, not unless you package it, physically split it, unpackage it, and then there's your fuel. So, uh, unless you do it like that, I don't think you can simply split fuel. What, what we're going to do is we're going to turn both outputs from that petroleum uh, uh, coke. Uh, we're going to turn that directly into fuel. And we're just going to pipe it straight into the fuel generator. And then once we have uh, fuel actually uh, being generated, you know, stuff like that, uh, we will work on something else with uh, the power. Oh my god, this thing's actually pretty big. Uh, I don't know if... Hmm. So now here's what we want to do. Residual fuel. And residual fuel. Alright, yeah, that's making fuel. I don't know how effective this is going to be, mind you. There's a chance that uh, we're going to need to use something like that one over there to make more fuel to make up for stuff and things. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because they're connected now. How's this going to work? It's going to take some time for the fuel to fill this up, I guess. Hmm. It looks like it's trying. This one's probably going to take a little longer because the fuel's got to make its way up. But this is running. How well is it running? Pretty well. It makes it up to 10 every time, like, before getting used. Oh. At least it was. Okay, okay. I think it's getting enough. At the very least, if nothing else, if nothing else at all, these, this, these two fuel generators will absolutely take the load off of this. Look at this. Because that fuel generator is running, this is not going down like hardly at all. This gives us a little bit more leeway. And now we can make some refineries, we can put something here to package up some fuel. And maybe we can even have some more fuel being made over here. Maybe we can get rid of some of these biomass burners. Okay. I like what I'm seeing here. Ah, think about it. Maybe we should use this oil extractor to not just make uh, fuel, but make plastic. Yeah, yeah, we could make plastic to add to the plastic output, because, I mean, there's not... I don't think we have enough plastic being made, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, and the packager. Yeah, we need a packager. Actually, can we make a packager? Wait, we can make a packager. Let's just slap a packager down. Just to have here, so that we know we can have it. Rotors are all the way at the main base, so it's going to take a hot second to get these materials. Oh yeah, alright. We got a plan now. The fuel generators has, have helped significantly. I was worried we wouldn't be making enough fuel, but seems fine. I bet we have enough motors, right? Actually, yeah, we, we actually do have enough motors. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the motors I need. But I'm also going to take the rotors and make more motors anyway, uh, later. Because, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't hurt to have more motors. Hmm. I could try to send what's going to be in the packager. Hmm. Yes, yes. I could send the packager contents that way and s send it over there with the storage stuff. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that. Put that in there. Oh, dang! That's right! Uh, packaged fuel requires empty canister. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot. 
Whoops! This means that uh, it might be better to uh, make this do plastic and then use the heavy oil residue to... Oh man, that's a whole thing too. What kind of note is this? Impure? Eh, should be fine. Ah, dang. Dang it, though, I don't... I didn't want to do it like that, but I completely forgot about the whole, uh... Yeah, this thing requires... Uh, plastic to even package. I remember the good old days when... It just made... Like, like you didn't have to make a package or thing, like, and, uh... Oil wasn't in a liquid form, it just automatically was packaged. Alright, it's connected. Now, this means that uh, these computers are not going to get to stay in here. But that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I have this feeling like we're not going to actually put a manufacturer here. You know what this means, though? This means we need another set of motors so I can make another refinery. Which means I gotta go all the way back. Wait, no, I don't. I, I have the materials this time. Oh, but I still need the... I still need encased concrete. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, packaged fuel, please. That's making that... Okay, it's all here. It just needs to be powered. Okay. This should be fine. Man, the power's going all over the place. Okay. This is extracting oil now. Oil goes in here, makes plastic. Plastic goes over here, creates empty canister. Canister goes here. There's no power. Uh oh. There we go. Fuel gets made. And it goes in here. I just now realized, though, if this ever gets backed up before this can, uh, f put fuel in here. Uh, this, th this entire thing becomes permanently in a standstill. Which means I have to put a sink here. There we go. Smart splitter. Here's my plan. We're gonna put this here. Center is... Empty canister. The right is overflow, which means nothing will come through this side unless this is completely backed up. If I turn this off, and stuff starts to back up, like so. Oh, that's right. It kind of holds on to it in here before it overflows. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going that way. Okay, there we go. Look at that, it's actually already backed up. It goes to show you how important this thing is. So, overflow uh, empty canisters will get synced. So that this thing can keep making fuel. Okay, I like this. It's making fuel. It seems like it's making a lot of fuel. Eh, actually, no, it doesn't. Look, look at that. <laughs> but, hey, it's... At the very least, it's also giving us tickets, so this thing isn't just sitting around doing nothing, you know? We'll check on the fuel production in a moment. Let's let's go get those beams and make two more refineries. Alright, I got the beams, got the beams. And it just occurred to me that something else I plan on doing will require the sink to be moved uh, as well, so... Yay. Alright, this one is definitely gonna make fuel. Wait, no, 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 wait, what am I doing? Wait a minute, hold on. No, 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 the whole point of this was to have more plastic. In fact, I kind of just now realized, would it have been more worth it to take, uh, overflow? Like, maybe have this thing back up on canisters and take plastic overflow and just connect it up to that? Would that be more worth it? The problem is, I want... I want this polymer resin. I want this. I want this polymer resin. The problem is, in order to get it, I need to make fuel. Put that here. This here. And center is going to be polymer resin. The right is overflow. We are just going to have a simple storage container for this. 
I'm sure this will fill up in no time. Now next up, the question is, how do I, how do I do this? This seems to be fine on its own. This is the one that seems to be struggling. So here's what I'm gonna try first. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? First off, let's yeah, let's just straight up make it run. All right, and it's gonna go through this conveyor right here because that makes sense. All right, now by putting this valve here, supposedly that will prevent any oil, any fuel from here going back up here. Uh, supposedly. So now this thing should be just making fuel. All right, and this thing's getting po uh, polymer resin. Hey, look at all that fuel it's getting now. Yeah, that's getting a lot of fuel. This one's also getting lots of fuel. Yeah. Now the max cons is 475. Now those fuel generators both create 300. Okay, keep that in mind. They both create 300, which means we still, after all of that, are going to be using these biofuel generators. But that's okay, because now we just won't be fueling them as much. See, that's the that's the real ticket here, is that uh, we just don't need these as much. <sighs> should I? Should I? I think I will. Uh, you know what? I I've decided. Uh, I'm going to. You cannot stop me. Take that. Put it here. There's our two uh, plastic inputs. That should speed up uh, plastic and uh, circuit board production by just giving it a little bit of help. It should be making... Yeah, look at that. The canisters are already full. Now it's just got to fill up on plastic, which I can help with. Yeah, that's going to start backing up soon. And then overflow can just go that way. And then bam! More plastic. Alright. Good, good, good. I think we're about done managing uh, the oil area for a good while. I think those fuel generators will keep it going for uh, quite a long time. And, uh, and if it does go kaput, we got ten whole stacks of biofuel just sitting there on site that we could just throw in. And I'm sure we can make that back, like, tenfold before by the time it runs out. So, I, I'd say this is a pretty good setup going on here. Could it be more efficient? Probably. But, it works. Okay, so how are we looking on fuel? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Real quick, just out of curiosity. 50. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which is why we're taking a hundred of it. Alright, we got a hundred packaged fuel here. For our fuel needs. And, uh, honestly, I kind of want more than that for the potential jetpack, but... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're probably not going to use the jetpack yet anyway. Let's head back to base. And put this stuff in. Alright, let's throw that in there. Jetpack! RMD inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, jetpack fuel has to be normal fuel. It can't be biofuel that's been liqui liquefied, and uh, oddly enough, turbo fuel also doesn't work, uh, unless they change to that. Uh, last time I used a jetpack, turbo fuel wouldn't cut it, so even though I exclusively used turbo fuel for everything in Update 3, uh, I still had to make normal fuel for the jetpack. Which, speaking of... Oh, wait, no, I need the compacted coal. And the hard drive. Let's get that turbo fuel. Turbo fuel. Turbo fuel. Nice. Now, if I recall, turbo fuel is made using compacted coal mixed with fuel, naturally. 
And then you can just, you know, package that up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And there's one more thing I want to look at. And that's up. I, I need the fabric, you know? <laughs> I need the fabric for that. Okay, there's the fabric. Synthetic polyester fabric. So now, I'm assuming... New parts? Come on. Fabric? Alternate recipe? There it is! They're in the refinery. Polymer resin and water to make fabric. I am so happy. This means that it is now possible to automate the pr Why am I- I- I swear to god I was- I- I- I was just going left automatically. Oh wow, I can see the- the gas mask on my face. But yeah, uh, alright, that, that was- that was weird. That completely threw me off my train of thought. Uh, yeah, this means that we can now make gas filters automatically using a manufacturer. I like that. That means uh, we can make a factory that can just make this. And if we ever need more, we just go to our big old storage system and grab some. No need to craft them ever again. Now let's look at this jetpack. Circuit boards, huh? Ugh. That's okay, we, we can we can make that, we can make that. Uh, how many did it need again? Is it 15? Yeah, 15, alright. Let's make 15 circuit boards real quick. Bam, 15. Make the jetpack. Oh wow, 30 tinks. Bam, uh, jetpack. Put that on my back. Hmm, I wonder what goes on the body. Maybe it's the hazmat suit or something. Alright, there's only one milestone left, and we all knew this was going to be the last one. The trains. Let me tell you right now. There is nothing else we're going to do next episode until we get this train technology. Next episode, we are going to the oil plant, and we are just going to craft circuit boards until we have enough... To make the computer. I have a feeling that we have enough plastic lying around. So it'll like we will get this monorail technology first thing next episode. Mark my words. Even if I have to stand around and wait. Like I I I like we cannot progress any further until we get this train technology. Sure, we could run around and unlock MAM stuff, but a lot of the stuff at this point needs some very complex material, and a lot of it is... If I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really interested in. Maybe, maybe the geyser, but that's that takes a lot of... Like, look at that, 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 that needs 50 computers. You know, I... I guess before we end the episode, we could do this. I can't afford... Huh, watch me. I'm pretty sure, yep, we have exactly five high-end connectors in here. So now let's come over here. Start research. Let's finish off alien organisms. Now what that did was, I'm pretty sure, yep, enemies are now in here. Oh yeah, and so are these. I very rarely use the object scanner. If I, if I find something, I find it. Oh, I guess I could do this too. Oh, I don't know. How many, how much mycelia do we have? <laughs> None. We're kind of all out, I guess. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Next episode, the trains. The trains. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And remember, the Wasteland is watching. See ya.